Today we're going to talk about the trapezius. It's the muscle at the top of the shoulders here and it's one of the most common places where people develop knots and aches and pains. So to assess your trapezius what you can do is sitting up nice and tall. You can tilt your head to one direction and notice how that feels going in one direction. Go the other way and I feel that side is a lot freer and you can probably see that. So there's a little bit less of a head tilt in that direction than there is towards that one and it feels tighter on that side. So my left trapezius is tight and needs a bit of work. So what you need for this is a lacrosse ball. You can use a cricket ball, tennis ball. Um, tennis ball is a little bit too soft, so lacrosse ball is best. So for this one, I need you to lie on your back, put the lacrosse ball in the kind of the angle in between the neck and the shoulder. So in that point there, you're just gonna tuck it in and then so you can see it's tucked away and in that corner. And then I'm gonna lift my arm and then keeping my arm as close to my ear as possible, I'm gonna do 10 overhead passes. So bringing the arm up, close to the ear as possible, as high as I can. And this is gonna release the trapezius muscle and it's gonna feel completely different when I come back up. So if that's not enough pressure, what I can do is actually bridge. If I lift up my hips, then there's more of a focus on my trapezius and the weight, my body weight is kind of pushing down at that ball so I'm getting more of a deep release here. And this is great to do on a regular basis, even if it's once a week or once a fortnight, you'll make sure that your trapezius stays nice and loose and you don't develop any issues in it. So once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go a bit further. So you're going to push the ball further down so this time it's in between the spine and the shoulder blade. So it's still behind your back, it's still on muscle, it's not on bone, it's just tucked in further down after that, under, behind that corner. So it's in line with probably my clavicle and my collarbone here. So now I'm gonna do the same movement, but it's gonna hit different fibers of the trapezius. So again, 10 overhead passes. Gonna do that motion, try and get the arm to hit towards the surface that I'm on, the plinth, and then back 10 times. So once I've done that, all I'm gonna do is take the ball slightly further out. So this time, instead of being into the corner between my neck and my shoulder, it's gonna go in midway. So in between my bone over here, my chromium and my shoulder, to my neck, midway between that, I'm gonna tuck it in. So you can see it's, it looks similar, but it's just tucked in a little bit further out. And then I'm gonna do the same motion, 10 overhead passes, and I can bridge, so I get more of a, more pressure on that area. Okay, so 10 overhead passes there, and you come up and you reassess. So you can do this as a pre or post workout, but now if you see when I go to the Right, that's feeling a lot looser and actually towards the left now is the tighter movement. Towards the right is much looser. So do that on a regular basis. Keep your trapezius nice and loose and mobile and stay away from getting those knots and problems in that area.